Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain. And today I want to show you how to acquire a fixed asset through a purchase order. So there are two ways to acquire fixed assets. Fixed asset Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain. One is through purchasing. So you do the receipt, the purchase order, the receipt, and the invoice or you can go directly to fixed assets and do an acquisition. Today, I specifically want to talk about the process through purchasing. There are two things you want to do before you start. You want to go under fixed assets, and you want to go into fixed asset parameters, and under fixed assets purchase orders, you want to make sure that this create during product receipt or invoice posting is set to yes, and I typically will also set this one to yes, check for fixed asset creation during line entry. So those are two things you want to do. The other things you want to do is number sequences. This number sequence for fixed assets must be set to continuous. So to double check that, I'm just going to right mouse and save you details. And then I'm going to go down under general and see continuous is set to yes. The last thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a service item. And that means it's a released product that is, has a type of service created. And I'll just show you my item really quickly here before we go through the process. So under product information management, release products, I have an item code called Alicia's service item. All right, and how I know it's a service item is you can see the product type is service. Okay, so that's super important. It cannot be an inventory item. It needs to be a type service item. So that's the only configuration or setup that's required. So now we're going to go do a purchase order. So we're going to go into procurement and sourcing all purchase orders. I'm going to click new. I'm going to pick a vendor. Just any vendor will do. Okay. And then on the line here, my item number again is going to be Alicia's service item. You're going to put in how many you want to buy. I'll just buy one of them for, let's say this one's $1,500. Let's, let's go a little higher today. Down here under line details, under fixed assets, you'll want to set this new fixed asset flag to yes. Then you'll notice that these fields that were, this field that was grayed out is now active. So I'm going to give it an asset group. Let's say it's a computer just to make it something. Um, and then we're going to confirm the purchase order. And then we are going to do the receipt. So now we're going to go into receive product receipt. Let's give it the packing slip number and say okay. All right, now at this moment in time, the system is creating the fixed asset record. So if I right mouse on my tab at the top and say duplicate tab, I'm going to go to fixed assets and show you that we should have a new computer record. So we're going to go under fixed assets, and fixed assets and fixed assets. And then we're going to go down here to computers and we should see Alicia's service item. So there she sits. And of course, at this point, I can edit information if I want a different description, whatever you want to do here. But if we go to books, we'll see that our books were created. We can see that our fixed asset is here, but it says not yet acquired, which is perfect. So now we're going to get do the, the invoicing component. So we do the invoice. So I'll get them back on the purchase order and I'm invoicing and we'll just give it a number. Um, again, once you're on the invoice itself, you can, of course you can change the value if you need to, whatever. Um, then you go to fixed assets, you'll notice that this is already populated. Um, now, so just know that, that that is the case. So now I'm just going to post this. When we go back to our fixed asset, and if I just refresh the screen, you can see it's not yet acquired. When I refresh this, it now says it's opened, and that acquisition price of $1,500 is the acquisition price. So you can see that that invoice is what actually acquired the asset. So now it's in there with all your other assets and it's ready to be depreciated.